Big Game Breakdown continues, powered by Bet Online. Exceptional customer service, strong promotions, and every type of wager you want. Saturday afternoon, CBS College Sports Network, Oregon State at Colorado State. Colorado State is four, 58 and a half the total. Colorado State, a brand new stadium that opens and a 9,000 square foot training room. Here's Ryan Davis. This might be the first quote we've ever had from the strength and conditioning coach. Uh, it's, our training isn't dictated by the room anymore. We can do whatever we want. We're not limited with equipment. We literally have everything we need to prepare our way the team we want to, end quote. And they got some momentum here with Bobo, who is entering his third season. They closed 5-2 and two straight up and 7-0 and oh ATS down the stretch. They lost by five at Boise on the Smurf turf and by three at Air Force. And everything changed when Nick Stevens, the quarterback, came back in. Yeah, it sure did. I mean, Stevens started as a sophomore in 2015. And he had a terrible opening to the season last year. Remember that Colorado game early on uh, where they, I think it was week one, they got annihilated in that contest. Stevens was yeah. terrible. He got benched. But, man, he caught fire <laughs> when he returned back to the lineup. The offense scored 42, 37, 46, 49, 63, and 50 over the last six games. So we're talking about a team, third-year head coaches. We love third-year head coaches. And their systems are in place and their recruits are in place. That's what we got from Bobo. Remember, he's an SEC guy coaching in the Mountain West. We expect this program to be at a positive traje trajectory. And then, all right, <laughs> you have the chance to get a Pac-12 foe at home with a new stadium. Oh, by the way, you're in great condition <laughs> and your yeah. strength is up to the max because you have this new weight room. There's a lot to like about Colorado State, both this season and in this ballgame. But... Oregon State, no, 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 they're going to be a pushover here. I really don't, Bobby. Well, it, it is a big deal. I'm glad you pointed that out. It's not a good Pac-12 team, but it's still a Pac-12 team going uh, on the road, and they get to play them. So it's a big deal for Colorado State. Gary Anderson hasn't done much so far. They won 12 games in the first two seasons before he was there. They've won six in the first two with him. As the quarterback plays, been atrocious. They are 118 in passing efficiency last year. They have a talented running back in all. Uh, it's 6.2 yards per carry as a freshman, 951 yards and 13 rushing touchdowns as a sophomore. Pretty good numbers to try to open up the offense, but it's the question again, is it's been lousy the last couple of years. Is there anything at quarterback? Well, I, and look, I was reading a ton about Oregon State uh, in their fall camp. And Anderson's a guy who's been involved with one major turnaround. At Utah State, that's where he got this. He was his first uh, head coach. In his first two years at Utah State, the team didn't really show a whole lot of signs. All of a sudden, year three, that team exploded and, and has been in the upper half of the Mountain West Conference ever since. So he took over at Wisconsin, didn't really work out there, jumped for Oregon State. And it, not like it didn't work out, uh, but he jumped for the Oregon State job, and here he is. So, the, you know, the, this is a team that had been decent under Mike Riley, which is about as, you can, as good as you can hope, uh, trying to recruit the Corvallis. If you're decent, if you're competitive, that has to be successful for the Oregon State program. Well, they haven't been competitive in the first two years of Anderson. As you mentioned, after going from 12 wins in the two years before he got here, only six wins the last two years. Now, in theory, they have a quarterback this year. You know, the Juco and Jake Ludon. He's, what, 6'7". He's a big guy. He's been chucking the ball around uh, in practice pretty well uh, this preseason. Uh, defensively, Beaver's strength is their secondary. That secondary has been real good. And what they're hoping to do, game plan-wise, in this contest, they want to stuff the run. They want to force Colorado State to throw against their uh, top-notch cornerbacks. So the game plan for, uh, for in-game wagering or anything like this, if Oregon State isn't stopping the run, they're going to get pounded in this contest because that's what their whole defensive game plan is designed to do. Definitely something to pay attention to in the first quarter of that one if you want to make an in-game wager. Hey guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.